I'll tell you now. Snacks out of the way. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, everybody. This is just so touching what Chef Turner, who's back here with me, because literally, you know, I was on a camping trip and we were talking about Wagyu and you brought it. You brought it. He brought Wagyu you in. You manifested Wagyu it. Beef. Let's talk about this beef. If people don't understand, this is like the number one beef in the world that people try to get their hands on. The cows are literally sang to, read stories, massage, yep. brushed teeth, fed, hand fed and everything like that to make this type of beef. And, and this is all from where right now? This is uh, Wagyu, which is a Japanese cattle. Right. So Wagyu just basically means Japanese cattle. This was actually raised in Ohio and is courtesy of Double, Double Eight Cattle, yeah. who is like the number one distributor in premium, top of the line, A5. It doesn't get any better than this. It's, it's, uh, this I, I, is, I, you don't understand this is the cream going on. People, were, when you walked in, their mouth were watering and stuff. Because exactly. this is the top of the top. This is the best of the best. Right? This is a... Uh, Typically around anywhere from 180 to 220 per pound wow. for A5 Wagyu. And I like that even here at the Double Eight uh, Cattle, uh, they make sure you even get a certificate, right? Right. So it's a certificate of authenticity. And uh, yeah, it doesn't get any better than this. This is uh, the cream of the crop. So uh, we're going to enjoy this. I have oh, a yeah. little bit seared off here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to go very light with any salt. This is typically... I like to season at the end, but for... Uh, to demonstrate it in case we don't get to that point, I wanted to just show you just a little. That's it. That's, that's it. all we do that's right there. Do. All right, we were talking about this because I was saying, well, you know what? Can I grill it? I was thinking going camping and grilling this. You're like, you don't want to grill it because it, it's very. It's so much fat involved in this. You're going to have flare ups. You're going to have a lot of grease dripping down. If you know what you're doing, you can grill. If the grill's a good grill, yeah. quality grill where you have flashings that keep the flare ups down, uh, by all means, go for it. But uh, typically, I like to sear it and preferably in a cast iron skillet. Yeah, and I know you got one right here that's already done. Right so. here, so this one's, uh, yeah, and then I, typically I wouldn't even put a demi-gloss on it, maybe off to the side because it's so rich yeah. that you really don't need anything, but for presentation wise, this is how I would serve it, and I'd serve it probably as like an appetizer or uh, just a tasting. Yeah, wow, okay, and I know people are like going, wow, that's a lot, I don't know if I wanna go that much yet for eat some steak, but you're saying Double Eight Cattle has other lines of beef that you can get, right? Yeah, they have every cut you can think of. So we got a good sear on this. Y'all can see how that. this is searing up nicely. Yeah, they have uh, New York strip, they have uh, tenderloin, they have uh, kebab cuts. Mm. So they have everything you can think of and there's different price points for everybody and that's Double Eight Cattle. And you can find them at double8cattle.com. Check it out for sure. Like. Definitely. And, and the best that I've put my hands on in years. Yeah, and, and they're located here, right? They have an office here? They have an office here in Scottsdale, but they're based out of uh, Ohio. Yeah, and Midwest, so, well, Midwest people, we know how to eat. You know, and they know, how to, to, they know how to raise cattle, too. You know, yeah, so that's right. So uh, that's key. That's These it. are, the bloodline, as the um, certificate says, is straight from Japan. They stopped the import of the cows back in, like, 1997, whenever we had uh, a lot of mild cow disease yeah. and things like that going on. Really so well. it's rare, super rare in the United States. I'm getting a little mouth wires. You're fit Tell me what's, what do we have here lined up, because is this Wagyu 2 that we have here? Um, this is uh, Wagyu here, but this is just an offering of kind of what I do. I try to bring the steakhouse to your house. Yeah. So this is, like, my steakhouse-type menu, what you would get if you hire me as your private chef. I come in, and then we can do a Wagyu tasting and... Uh, yeah, so this is what I do. Filet, New York strip, salmon, sea bass, anything you can think of, I bring it to your house. It's like having Mastro's come to you and... Uh, oh, love it, yeah. love it. Okay, what, go ahead, let's, let's, I gotta get a taste of this. And that wasn't that long to sear that. It's like that very, wasn't very long at all. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice this up. Uh, people, if you get to smell the studio right now, Ooh. it is just... Oh, Here we go, goodness. Brad. Here we go, Look Brad. All right, this where is can you, people buddy. find out more about you, Chef Turner? ChefWilliamTurner.com, and they can follow me on Instagram, at ChefWillTurner. And uh, I just want to thank Double Eight Cattle again. Give that a try, brother. Oh, I am. I'm going to thank them for come, bringing you over here with us. Um, and you know what? I'm going to sell it. He's not here, and he's our beef guy, but Rick, who is uh, head of sales, um, he's not here, so he's our big guy. So I'm going to be super jealous. He's going to be jealous. I wish I could hug you. <laughs> I wish I could hug you, but I can't. Okay. We can fist bump, brother. We can fist bump.